I'm here with Laura and we're going to be cooking on the Weber some lamb racks. Yes, my all-time favourite cut of lamb, mm -hmm. some beautiful Mediterranean lamb racks yep. with roast beetroot relish. But first we'll get cracking onto our rub. Great. So if I can get you starting with some cumin seeds, mm -hmm. coriander seeds, coriander seeds and sumac. Lovely combination. Yes. So all we need in there is some salt and pepper. Now all that I'm doing here is just wrapping the bones with our foil. This will help to protect the bones so they don't burn. Mm -hmm. We want that nice tender meat on a little handle. That's why I love lamb rack. Nice one. And so you're not going to be cooking this the traditional way. Um, instead, you're going to be roasting it, using the Weber to roast the, the lamb racks. Absolutely. So we've set it up for indirect roasting. That's nice. Very nice. All right, this smells fantastic. Yeah. Mm, that combination of sumac and coriander it just works so nicely. Absolutely. With lamb. So, if you're happy to drizzle a little olive oil on here, can do. Get that all over. So, a little over there. I'm very liberal with my olive oil. That is fine with me. <laughs> it's always a good idea to oil the food, never oil the cooking grill. And this will help for the seasonings to stick as well. Speaking of seasoning, would you like me to sprinkle that over? Yes, please. We'll start with the underside. Oh, how good's barbecuing outside? Doing it with someone, with a friend, yeah. it just makes it so much easier. It does. The food tastes good, but preparing the food's also a lot of fun. Exactly. A bit more on the other side. There we go. Yeah. Amazing, thank you. Our lamb is ready to go, but to be sure that we are cooking this lamb to perfection, mm -hmm. we are going to insert an eye grill probe. So the Weber Pulse here has been built in with an eye grill thermometer. Mm -hmm. So this is a thermometer that hooks straight up to your phone. So my phone is going to go off when this lamb is ready and done to perfection. Wow, that is the ultimate technology when it comes to barbecuing, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so there's no excuse for overcooking your lamb. I hate overcooked lamb. I know, me too. And our barbecue has already preheated, so yep. it's all ready for roasting. Now, just in place here, I have set a trivet onto the cooking grill. Mm -hmm. This helps to elevate the lamb, so then he can evenly circulate all around the lamb, so you get really nice, even results. Nice one. So anything that you would roast in your oven, yep. you can do on your barbecue just like this. What a great idea. And now we'll leave that until my phone goes off. All right. Well, in the meantime, shall we get on to the beetroot that we've pre-done? Yes. Pre -done? yes. Mm -hmm. So we have pre-roasted some beetroots, just like this as we're cooking the lamb mm -hmm. on the trivet. Now these are all ready to peel, so we'll get peeling these. Okay. And I get the wonderful job of peeling them, but we have gloves. We have gloves. <laughs> we are fine. <laughs> Makes it so much easier. And how long did you cook these for in the barbecue? About 45 to 60 minutes. Really all that you need to do is cook them until they're tender. So once you pierce them with a knife and the knife easily inserts into the beetroot, they're ready to go. And you can see how easy it is to take the skins off after you've allowed them to completely cool in the foil. If you're happy to please grate that for me. Sure and I'm going to get straight on to chopping the onions. Mm -hmm. So we just want a nice, fine chop. And so you see how tender it is. The earthiness and the sweetness of the beetroot with juicy lamb is just delicious. So what else goes in your relish? So all that goes into the relish after this is half a garlic clove, some cumin seeds, balsamic vinegar, and then seasoning with salt and pepper. And that is it. Sounds delightful. Absolutely fantastic with all those spices. You've allowed it to rest? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we've let it rest for about five minutes. And it's really important to avoid sneak peeking. You want yeah. the lid closed yeah. and leave all that smoke and flavour around the food. It's yeah. really important. I guess we uh, can start plating up now, right? Yes, I'm going to start carving. If you're happy to start picking some mint leaves can do. and crumbling the feta as nice. well. Mm -hmm. So the moment of truth. Yes, let's have a sneak peek inside. What did we say? We said medium rare. Oh, and yeah. you're on the money. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. I'm so excited to eat this mm, lamb. Me too. Just going to carve one more and then yes. I think we are ready to plate this up. So you can see all the beautiful colours are going to come together. Yeah. It's going to taste as beautiful as it looks, mm. hopefully. So we'll just pop the beetroot relish down on the plate. You can make this beetroot relish ahead of time. Absolutely. It tastes even better. Yeah. Just pop 
this on the side. And now, if you're happy to just finish off with some mint leaves and a sure. crumble of feta on top so too. A few little mint leaves and we'll just crumble that over. Okay. So this portion would be for two people. I think so. This is a special date night meal. Ooh, a romanza. Yes, <laughs> or double date maybe if you like the other couple enough. But I'd say date night meal. Yeah, <laughs> and then last but not least, just some beautiful caramelised lemon just to tie it all together. Just grilled up on the barbecue, cut side down for a couple of minutes and that is all done. Fantastic. You've got done yourself. That is a beautiful dish. Just shows how you can cook lamb perfectly on the barbecue without hesitation. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Justine.